they don't care to understand about men. Mm -mm. That men have a burden of performance that women don't have, and that's what it is. And there are certain requirements that I need from my woman. For, I need you to understand that I had a burn, burden of performance, and I need you to be my soft place to fall because around you, I should not have my shields up. But if you don't create that, then for sure I'm going to mm -hmm. have my shields up. Hey guys, Meet the Simmons back with another video. Today we got a video, I don't know who this lady is, but she's discussing shame. And I think that's something that we really need to talk about. Now, on this platform and in this space, I heard people talk about, you know, sign language, shame, insults, guilt, need to be right. But we really understand the power of shame. Shame has a huge impact on a person's psyche. And so she's talking about shame here among men, and I really, really want to discuss this. Here we go. I did not interview men for the first four years of my study. And it wasn't until a man looked at me one day after a book signing and said, I love what you have to say about shame. I'm curious why you didn't mention men. And I said, I don't study men. And he said, that's convenient. <laughs> and I said, why? And he said, because you say to reach out, tell our story, be vulnerable. But you see those books you just signed for my wife and my three daughters? I said, yeah. They'd rather me die on top of my white horse than watch me fall down. When we reach out and be vulnerable, we get the shit out of us. And don't tell me it's from our, the guys and the coaches and the dads. Because the women in my life are harder on me than anyone else. Wow. I want to give give opportunity to really discuss this. This is not going to be a salacious video or anything. It's, it, it's the truth. It's the truth of what I've seen. Is that the, when you understand female nature, there's only a specific type of woman that can really, really handle her man's emotions. And it is a woman who is whole and healed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is only a specific type of woman that can handle a man's real feelings. That woman has to have done some serious work on herself and some serious work to understand the man she's with. And that goes for us guys too. Now, and if I let this play a little longer, she would have kind of explained that a little bit more. Um, in 10 years of coaching and counseling couples, I've seen more men that were open, willing, and able to understand what their wife was going through than I saw women that were open, willing, and able to understand her man's experience in life. What would you say? I agree, because we're not conditioned or programmed to. We're we're taught that girl, good, boy, bad. You mm -hmm. know, we're that that's how society mm -hmm. has kind of been set up and we we believe that. These stereotypes that exist in our, our society have been you know, played out by a few bad apples from men, and we have taken it and and run to the hilt with it. We yeah. we have believed the worst about y'all, and that is how it is. But you're expected to understand me. You're expected to be patient and and kind and compassionate with me. There's zero accountability on on that side of the house. I like I always tell you, I grew up in rural Mississippi. I grew up in a church. I've seen it. I, I've seen this this play out time and time again. And men are getting tired of it. Like he said that men get the crap kicked out of them when they when they're vulnerable, and it's true. Those are facts. It's true. And so, but the thing about men is that we are resilient. We are resilient. We will change and adapt the way we do things. We're gonna get what we want in the end, mm -hmm. even if it's to, to your detriment. So a lot of these emotionally unavailable men, these players, these people that they they deem as less, that you go, oh, you just going around here just breaking girls' heart. It's because they've had to do that. They have this hard shell around them because you're not gonna hurt me. Because when a man lets you in, like I always say, when a man loves, he loves hard, yeah. hard. And if you're gonna play that game, if we don't play the game with women trying to act like men, we're just gonna outman you. You wanna, you wanna play that game? You're gonna lose every time. Mm -hmm. And we are teaching our daughters and young ladies to be men. Yep. And so when all men are doing, well, there are certain types of men. A man's either gonna fall back, which a lot of young men are doing, or he's gonna press forward. And that guy that's pressing forward, the guy you get, the guys you talk call the alpha, the toxic masculinity, these guys that don't do it, all they're doing is beating you at your game. Because you could pretend to be a man, but I am that. Yep. And you're gonna lose, ladies. You're gonna lose every time. And that's now, what today's modern woman wants. She wants to be a man and she wants her man to be the woman. Yeah. 
I and so yeah. this this lady in, the, in this video here, she's spot on. She's spot on. And yeah, I'm like glad that that man called her out because yep. there's so many spaces that have been created for women. Oh, you need to be able to express yourself, this and that, and this and that. And then when a man does that, we laugh. A couple years ago when Tyrese lost his kids and he got on Instagram, which my, I want to see my babies, they made a meme out of him. Yeah. They laughed at that man, laughed at that man like he was that. That man wanted to see his kids. Now, should he have got on social media with that? No, that was a beta move. All men know this. All men know that you you have to pick the time and the place where you show your emotions. I did a whole video on it not too long ago. Mm -hmm. There's a time and a place where you show your emotions and you become vulnerable because they will be used against you. If it's yes, the wrong it place will. and the wrong time, it will be used against you. Anytime we see a man express any kind of emotion, he's made fun of. And it's, and it's, it's totally acceptable in our society. Completely acceptable. You know what's funny to me? All these women that want this, want to be a whole man, as I like to say, what that tells me is that you really don't understand what being a man really is. You really don't understand the pressure and you don't understand, um, you really haven't done any study on the psychology of a man and what they actually go through, how they have to think. Um, it's funny, like when we go out in public, let's say we're going to the mall. I'm I'm me going, oh, I wanna buy this. Oh, 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 squirrel. Like that's me, I get excited. But he, his head is on, it's on a spindle, he's like, Hey, you get into the like yeah, from? like he's always mm -hmm. looking and assessing and making sure, and he'll be like, hey, walk on this side. I don't like the way it look. Just, just go over there. I'm like, okay. Oh, look at that dress. That's so pretty. <laughs> and you know, not not to to downplay who I am, but I get to be my feminine self. I don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm out with just me and my kids, then that's different. Then I'm mama bear. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, now I have to be on my guard. But the point I'm making is the women that always say like, oh, you know, that want to be th these feminists that want to be men per se, you really don't understand the pressure and all that men go through. Because if you did, why the heck would you want that? There's a burden of performance that comes with being a man. I don't get to always have my emotions. I don't get to be out in public and just be happy-go-lucky like a lark. And I, I'm glad that I can provide that for my wife. But I'm looking like, where's the threat coming from? What's this guy? Who's he doing? What's he reaching for? You know, all these things that that, that have been beating in my head through my father and the fact that I was in the military and the training I went mm -hmm. through. I'm not. I'm, it ain't. A, it ain't a walk in the park for me. I'm constantly on the lookout because I gotta protect what's mine. I gotta protect my family because the biggest fear that all men have. Is somebody taking something from us? Yeah, and that's what people don't understand. Is because you have to have your own as a man. And our biggest fear is when we fought for something and we love something, we will die for it. We draw a circle around it and we will die for it because it's all we got. And our biggest fear is somebody coming and taking it from us. Yeah, and that's what people don't understand. They don't care to understand about men. Mm -mm. That men have a burden of performance that women don't have, and that's what it is. And there are certain requirements that I need from my woman. For I need you to understand that I had a burden of performance. And I need you to be my soft place to fall because around you, I should not have my shields up. But if you don't create that, then for sure I'm going to mm -hmm. have my shields up yeah. because you could be an enemy in my camp. That's the truth. And we see it all the time. As soon as you get mad at him, that's why you were sitting there crying like a little, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got you. You won't ever, you won't ever get that from me again. Y'all can turn that on. Tell them about your fears. Tell them about things that you are concerned about. And then it comes back up in a moment of her, her losing her emotions or a moment of emotion. Okay, got it. So we really got to be careful about this as, as a society because men are going to adjust. That's what we do. We adapt. We have adapted this whole environment that God gave us on this planet and built cities mm -hmm. through adaptation. You think we can adapt to you acting a fool? Y'all do it all the time. And it's look at the look at the marriage rate. Men are adapting. They figured out yeah. that marriage is no longer what it used to be for men. I'm an advocate for marriage, and I'm telling yes, you that are. it is trouble if you don't have your ducks in a row as a man. Don't know who you are, and you get tangled with the wrong woman. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough on you. And that's but if y'all make it, but if you take your time mm -hmm. and work on yourself mm -hmm. and be selective with your mate and put your selfishness to the side, i.e. sexual discipline, you can find a good woman who will love you and protect you. I've been doing it for 22 years. I wouldn't trade this woman for it. She is worth her weight and more in gold. So that's my that's my thing. And I, I think I'm going to look this lady up. I don't know who she is, but I'm going to look her up and see if I can find yeah. a couple of her books and maybe we can discuss that too. But for now, that's, that's enough, enough said. It.